Hey everybody, welcome to day three. It's already Wednesday, the days are just flying by and I was just talking to Lupe and I'm so proud of all of the things that are happening with you guys and the different results you're already seeing. Um, I think that what's really beautiful about this whole process is something that she said, which is just that you can really tune in to your own body and listen and be more mindful about the things that you're doing with your body. And that's so powerful. And so I feel like um, that's just a really great check-in. Thank you for sharing that with me. Uh, today, hopefully you watched the recording from yesterday. There were lots of good nuggets about hormone disruptors and how we can start to eliminate some of those in order to balance our hormones more effectively and eliminating those little triggers that you didn't even know were playing a role in how you feel. So today we're gonna to talk about meditation. That was my goal yesterday to get both of them in, but I realized I went a little long, so I thought today we would cover that topic. It's so important, and I feel like it's like really a couple of things. I feel like it's under-talked about, like people aren't really stressing how much it's helped. Um, and two, I think there's an intimidation factor. I think that a lot of people are afraid to do it or afraid to get into it because they don't know what they're doing and they feel like they have to buy like a meditation pillow and like look like Buddha and start sitting in strange positions. But it's actually way more simple than that. And so I'm going to show you um, a website today and share with you some of my very favorite meditations. Now, these may be like second level for you. You might feel like, oh, I'm not quite there yet, but I've kind of graduated to this point. So meditation really, um, and my friend Tara, who's doing this with us, but can't join us on the recordings in the morning, uh, she's a lot better at being able to describe like the benefits of it, but basically what I have found to be really powerful is literally just kind of aligning myself with my breath and realizing that my mind and my breath and the beat of my heart, once those two are aligned and kind of match, then my day just goes so much smoother. And again, we all learned what a huge contributing factor stress is to our hormonal imbalance. So much so that you could be eating perfectly healthy. You could be eating the cleanest diet. You could be having uh, just the most amazing water intake, like you're drinking a gallon a day or something. You could be eliminating all the toxins from your home and taking all of your supplements. But if you have chronic stress, your hormones can be so out of whack. You could miss your period for a long time. You could uh, just go into bouts of depression and anxiety simply based off your environment and the stressors in your environment and more importantly, like how you react to them. So that being said, I don't know if I've said it enough or if I've stressed it enough, Meditation and taking five or 10 minutes for yourself every day is so important. Okay, so we're going to practice a little bit of it today. Um, I need to take this new, I just got this Apple Watch, you guys, and I feel like, one, I don't know really how to use it, and two, it's distracting, so I'm taking it off. Um, okay, so a couple of things. Bear with me, but find, find a chair, and if you can't right now, just pause it and watch this in a minute, but... Find a chair where you can sit down and put your feet flat on the floor. Chair got caught in the rug. Okay. And then <clears throat> as your feet are kind of flat on the floor, your midsection is just really strong and kind of in this position so that you have your shoulders over your hips. And what I like to do, and sometimes I just do this on the floor, but if you're not on the floor and you're in a chair, you can have your hands over the tops of your knees like facing up or facing down. Um, facing down, I usually do that when I feel like I need to feel more grounded. 
when I feel like I need to feel more connected here and I have my hands up when I feel anxious and loss of control and need to feel that connection. So however you decide to have your hands up or down, just place them over your knees and then you can close your eyes or keep your eyes open however you choose, but just taking a nice deep breath in until your lungs are completely full. So kind of like from the nose into the chest. So and hold it there for as long as you can and then just right back out the nose. And again, in, hold it at the top and then breathe back out your nose. Once you've done that a couple of times, it's always good too to kind of reach your shoulders up to relieve some of that tension. So as you go in with your air, bring your shoulders up too. And then when you release it, just kind of let go of all that tension and just release all of that right in your shoulders. And if you do that for a couple of minutes, up and down, up and down, and every time I breathe in, I say the word let in my head, and then I say the word go as I breathe out. So it's let go with those deep breaths, okay? And that's just easy, five or 10 minutes, just like that. Now, if you're incorporating other types of meditation, one that I feel like I've graduated to called Kundalini, then you can energetically uh, kind of wake up the body with this motion of your hands, and then you'll start your meditation or your Kriya. And so I'm going to show you one of the ones that I love, and we'll watch it for just a couple minutes. Can you see the screen, Lupe? Yep, I can. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up, so let me know if you can hear it. You know, I'll try to remain calm, but I could really use this practice. Can you hear it? I just paused it, but could you hear it when I had it on? It sounds good, yes. Okay, so this gal right here, her name is Joanna, and she's awesome. Um, she's someone who I feel is like a mentor when it comes to meditation for me. I've gone to her classes dozens of times um, in Washington, D.C. I just recently moved to California, so I haven't found a studio here that I'm totally in love with yet, but I love that this friend has these on her website so that I can come here and use them at home. So essentially, Kundalini is using breath work, but also your body, so different um, I don't know what you call them, but like different positions of like your hands or like the ways that you put your body um, that kind of tune in and wake up the energy in those parts of your body. And so you can see here, it's like really self-explanatory. This is a meditation for a calm heart. This is um, a simple breath work exercise. This is the addiction meditation. So it doesn't have to be like addicted to some substance. It could be just the way you talk to yourself. It could be an addictive relationship. Um, there's this one minute breath work. There's fists of anger. Fists of anger is like one of my very favorite ones that I will do during the day, like usually right before I go pick up my kids from school. And I don't want it to sound like I'm an angry person, but I do feel like I have things that I, may, I need to release before um, I can be fully present with my kids. And a lot of that is like harnessed inside of me just based on like our life situation. I have two boys on the autism spectrum and I love them more than life itself, but they're really difficult and it's hard to manage their behaviors. And so fists of anger is helpful to me to release some of that and to be present with them. And then some of the ones up top here, um, an affirmation practice, a meditation to conquer self animosity, like all these really great practices. And you'll see that she'll do stuff with like her fingers or her thumbs or her nose that just helps her to tune into that specific Kriya. Sorry, my little guy's here. Okay, daddy said he'd come right down after his call and he'll get you some, okay?
Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry. A mother's duties, right? Okay, so um, hopefully that helps and you can kind of see like what the options are. And if you want to give one of these a try, I highly recommend it. But we're just going to watch a few minutes of this one right here. This uh, as much as maybe you can. So I wanted to share it with you. It's really simple. It's a great one to do after a stressful event um, or before bed if you're trying to kind of calm the energy. So we'll tune in really quickly. In Kundalini Yoga, we always tune in using a sound code, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. So we'll just say it three times. First, take a deep breath in. Inhale. Inhale. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Inhale. So it's very simple. You take your left hand and you place it at the center of the chest. So in yoga, the center of the chest, the heart center, um, is where we're going, not over here, which is obviously the anatomical heart. So like this, and your fingers are flat, facing towards the right. Left hand is over the heart. Your right hand comes up, and you touch your index finger and your thumb together in a gesture called Gyan Mudra. It's just a gesture of knowledge and wisdom. And then your, your arm is kind of right up by your shoulder, like you're taking a little uh, pledge, pledge to your own heart. I like to think of it as that. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna sit up tall, long spine, nice lifted chest. You can certainly do this in a chair as well. You don't have to be sitting on the ground. And you're Deep, full, slow breath in through the nose. And you really fill up. You're gonna hold the breath now for as long as is comfortable to you. So you're stretching the hold a little bit. And then when you need to exhale, you exhale through the nose, nice and steady. Hold the navel to the spine now. Hold the breath out as long as is comfortable. And then you begin again. So you're inhaling and exhaling through the nose. You're holding the top of the inhale and you're holding out the bottom of the exhale as long as is comfortable. We're gonna go for about three minutes starting now. Really deep, full breaths here. There's no urgency with the breath. There's no rushing. Filling up from the bottom lobes of the lungs all the way to the top, even lifting the hand and the chest from the inside out with your breath. As you exhale, really Squeezing out all of that air, releasing.
And for this last minute or so, just very sweet with yourself, like you're taking a pledge to your own heart, to coming home to your own heart. When you're ready, inhale deep. Hold the breath. Pull the root lock up. That's the rectum, sex organs, and navel up and in. Bring the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Stretch the spine a little taller. And exhale. Very good job. Release the hands. Um, and I already feel better. I hope you do too. Um, and you'll notice this is something you'll get a little more comfortable with. Maybe you couldn't hold the breath in for that long or out for that long. It's not a big deal. As you come back to it and practice it, you'll start to surprise yourself and impress yourself how you get better and you get stronger. So, so thank you and see you later. See, do you already feel better? <laughs> yeah, voice is calming. Isn't it so calming? And I think sometimes like we don't even realize the impact that just being quiet and being still and really listening to our breath and tuning into like our own heartbeat and matching that can have such a huge impact on our resilience. And again, it's just how we're able to tackle the stressful moments that come up during the day that make the difference. So if I hadn't have taken the time this morning to meditate, and my you know autistic boys have an outburst or a meltdown then i am going to be quicker to rise to my spot of feeling anxious and like loss of control and start to sweat because i am more prone to anxiety so if i you know i'm really religious about my meditation practice which i am for survival then as those moments come up then i can see that my boys in those moments don't have um, they're not doing it because they, you know, are mad at me or they don't like me or they don't like their brothers or something. They're doing it because they have autism and I can see them as that and I can separate and differentiate their illness from like, who they are versus like, why does this child just want to ruin my life by always having these meltdowns in precarious places and make it really difficult to be their mother. <laughs> right. So like, I know that sounds kind of harsh, but it's the reality that we live in and it can be really hard sometimes. And so attaching myself to this practice and just like clinging to it, with all of my um, intention and just like being really real with it makes it so much easier to go through my day. So I hope that that um, motivates you as you are moving through this week and figuring out you know, what in your environment could really help you to balance your hormones, that this is something that you start to include and it will become a part of your everyday routine. That's the goal here. So do you have any questions though, Lupe? No, I think I'll definitely follow that. Um, what was it called again? I will put all of her information in the email that goes out here soon. Okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah along with everything else I'll, I'll give it a try awesome okay did you get the email from yesterday I did yeah okay good I put a bunch of links in there that I thought would be helpful 
Um, but let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. I am so excited. So today I uh, had my overnight chia this morning and I was just thinking of everyone because it tasted so good. And I was thinking, I hope everyone's enjoying these recipes. And so tomorrow we can talk more about um, food and stuff and some of the things that you may be liking or how to kind of play around with your taste buds as you're getting used to eating more fresh foods. So yeah. have another yeah. awesome day. Yeah. Oh, what's that? The recipes are really good. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. That yeah. makes me so happy. I'm so glad. <laughs> well, good. Okay. We'll talk more tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Thanks, Lena. You too. Bye. Bye.